<laughs> what is up, homies? Welcome back to another reaction from Heroes Reforged. It is time this for the is finale it. of Invincible. This is it, you guys. I, uh, <sighs> I'm not ready, boys. I need a. I'm. I'm not ready. I need a beer. Drinking one of these bad boys. <laughs> I said this cheers. Off for tonight. Cheers. You look sparkling water. Cheers. Take it, Adam. We'll cheers. Take cheers, guys. It's been a hell of a ride. It has been. First of all, we're we're talking like it's ending, but we're celebrating because thank God. Oh thank my God! God. Huge. Who? What two show gets more two seasons, seasons announced in one day? I well, it's so funny because after last week's shouted. episode, I know after last week's episode, we were like, "When are they going to announce it? When are they going to announce it?" And then the brilliant Insta in, uh, official Invincible Twitter account was like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like it was like when are you gonna announce it? When are you gonna announce it? Mm -hmm. How about two more seasons, bitches? And yeah, like, baby. Great. Cheers to I'll that. I'll take a season two, and I'll take a season three. Yeah, and they right. also were they also responded to us, and they were like, "I guess you guys are gonna have to make more heroes reforge videos." And I'm like, "Hell yeah, bring it on!" You know it. Bring you it know on. we're there. Thank uh, you, thank you, Bobby Kirks. Thank yeah, you, Steven, <laughs> Big Bobby Kirks. KK. Sandra, everybody <laughs> in the cast, and of course, Big Bobby Kirks. It's been a hell of a ride. Uh, <laughs> it's been better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah. I tried to stay off Twitter as much as possible. It is 10 p.m. Thursday night. Yep. Um, yeah. You know, uh, you know what the people best are crying. About, you know what the best thing about this whole experience has been? Well, two things. The first best thing is that we got Adam into Invincible right before this show. Yeah. And to be able to share that experience on the comic right. side and then to share the three of us fresh watching the series side was amazing. The second mm -hmm. best thing about this whole experience has been all of the people that have hit us up like, yo, you were right. This yep. thing is yep. amazing. Mm -hmm. And they've been loving mm -hmm. the show and it's been getting them interested enough in the comic yeah. series. How many people have bought the comic books? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah, I can't count how many people have told us that. You know what's funny is that I haven't finished the series fully yet. Hector hasn't even finished the series fully yet. So all these people are ahead of us now. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> and they're like, when are yeah. you making more comic book videos? And I'm like, just stay tuned, baby. Stay tuned, baby. <laughs> just stay you. tuned, you baby. You. So I guess you should announce that. Are we going to go back to reading the book? Like, we're, we're going to go oh, back yeah. on this break, right? So yes. keep following, keep watching us because we are going to dive in. I think it's after issue like 35, 36, something like yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to start with yeah. volume eight. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. going to start with volume eight. Uh, it's going to be real cool because we're into some like Angstrom, Levy, crazy teleporting dimensional stuff. Um, mm -hmm. There's, you know. I'm hoping very soon I get to find out why uh, Mark's suit is all blue. Yeah, you uh, will. Uh, you will. <laughs> you will. You will be. You <laughs> will be. Are you ding dongs just ready to start this party? I'm almost done with my beer. Let's go. Let's do All this. All right. Let's go, yes. baby. Here we my go. Body is ready. The season one finale of Invincible. Godspeed. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. How Mark. dare you start it this way, Kirkman? I need a drink. <laughs> Our population was cut in half, but what emerged <gasps> was unstoppable. Oh shit. You don't even know who that was, Adam. <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I do love your mother, but she's don't. more like a. Don't say it. Oh. Don't say it. God. I don't give a shit about Bill Trim. I don't care if I live a fucking million years <laughs> in my home, and I won't let you just. Look. You don't know what you're saying. And oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> oh. I'm sweating. Oh, no. I'm not ready for this, you guys. Oh. Mm, I chit, I chit. Uh, he still, he still has like son a, of a bitch. That was a, that was hesitation a, in yes, his eyes. Yes, yes, and he has this that frustration, was, yeah. like he's trying to teach. He's Mark. conflicted. To face his father and survive, he'll need to be. Oh, oh my God! Blood. <laughs> it's too much blood. It's too, too much blood. blood. <laughs> Feel like the little kid in Jurassic Park. So much blood. Yeah. Uh, Look at all the blood. Come on. Yeah, y'all need to eject. Oh, 
Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. And our boys coming through. Our boys coming through. Wow. This animation, though. Wow. His They're going all out level. for this animation. Well, let's see how you handle this. Jesus Fuck. Christ. He's that a savage. Hit hard. Dude, I haven't felt like this. Holy shit. Since oh. I was a kid watching Dragon Ball Z. I'm yeah. telling you what. This, this is, is nuts. Intense. This is nuts. Oh, my God. I'm, like, terrified to see how many people are about to die because of this. Yeah. Because in the comic book, we, like, get glimpses, but Bro. this series is going to turn it up to a 12. I need I need the Guardians to come oh, and help. No. Oh, God, no. oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. No. But Mark saved him. Mark saved him. Mark saved the mother and child. But there's, like, 100 more people down below. I know, man. I know. Fuck. Oh, my God. Is mom's life worthless? Yes. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Don't hold back. Even Don't though we've back. read this part of the comic book, I'm like, beat the shit out of him. Maybe this time you'll learn. Oh my god, this guy's insane. He's gonna push him through. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh my God, Robert Kirkman! What are you doing? I'm done. I'm done. I am. Dude. I am shocked. I am shocked. That was something taken from the comic book and extrapolated to yeah. a degree. I'm nauseous, man. Please. Oh my God! That was a that crazy was face he just terrifying. made. Yeah, I know. Nolan is just too strong. Uh, there's got to be three people on the mountain too. Come on. Oh, he's cracking the mountain. Oh, sweet Jesus. These expressions that they have on Nolan are insane right now. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this is oh, breaking. How can you, how can y'all be doing this to us how right now? You... Are you serious? Oh God. How can you be doing this to us right now? We did not have these emotional oh, flashbacks no, in the comic book, no. you bastards. Yeah, I saw. I'm gonna need about three more bears. It's gonna. Yeah. Oh, Jesus yep. Christ. Yep. Why did you make me do this? You're fighting. No, John Walker. Yeah. This is your fault. <laughs> what will you have after 500 years? Oh, you I still have you. Neil. <laughs> That was that's it. the line. That's, that's the line. That's, I that's, love that line. That's the line of this entire comic book series. <sighs> Straight out of the comic book. I have that posted on my Instagram from 2015. Tears. That son of a bitch had a tear. This is not the end. This is the beginning. So to clarify, it doesn't seem like the world knows that Omni-Man and Invincible were father and son. Right. right? That right, is key. Not. And they were also like, Invincible was maybe a part of the attack. Right. Did they did they it's see Invincible unclear. fight back? Yeah. Uh, this is this is what this is this part is showing us is that people are trying to move on. Well, these guys are serious now. Like yeah. they know yeah. they have to be they know the they guardians need to be better. of the globe. They know yeah. they need to be good. Especially Rex, he's like not dicking around anymore. Yeah. And look at Monster Girl. She's training in her monster form. She's sacrificing herself. Wait. No, we saw some mark cheeks right there. <laughs> On what? <laughs> some Invincible cheeks. Invincible cheeks. Lights. This um, this issue of the comic book specifically was very, yeah. very heavy on dialogue, but you yeah. learn mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. Getting his power. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Sure. Sure, you bastard show. Let's recap this entire season and make what it feel worse. What are you doing worse. to me? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Son of a bitch. This is the beginning of a long journey. Mm -hmm. At least three seasons, this journey. Mm -hmm. at, le <laughs> at least three. At least three. three. We're hoping for at least four more after that. <laughs> to see, this is great because he's just replaying everything. Because yeah. of course, of course he would. I want to be just like you. Oof, there it is. Don't, okay. 
Yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> you. Don't just be cutting to black. Mom. Don't be talking about my bow tie. <sighs> Sobbing. She knows. Oh. She needs her time. She needs her time. She hasn't really had her own time to She has not deal had with time everything. to grieve. Mm -mm. She's had to be mom. She's had to take care of Mark. Yeah. You guys <laughs> want to... Uh... I'm That's glad cool. he's got his little yeah. group there. He's got well, his little now, plan. Now it's yes. going to be about Amber being like, oh, wait, Eve is Adam Eve. That's why yeah. she knows. Yeah. yeah. And William, because he figured it out at the college. Yep. There you go. Open. You oh, I got scared. <laughs> she needs a drink. She needs, she needs somebody to talk to, man. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? What if this That's was right. on you, man? I'd be is, like, yeah. yeah. This is from the comic book, too. Someone's flying towards Earth from deep space. Oh. Still trying to figure out who it is. <laughs> Please, <laughs> our boy. Please, <laughs> he's ready to go. It's our what guy. I love is that, what I love is that people who who didn't read the comic book would be watching this and being like, "Omni Man's coming back." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we forgot about these guys. Why are you doing this, to guys? I'm not over Omni Man yet. Oh boy, the Flaxons are still in play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog size, oh, dog size. Really and of, of course, course Titan, Titan's Isotope. still pissed. And then we have... This is going to be all season two, baby. Yes! Ooh, Papa like. <sighs> no bueno. Jeez. Finish high school, I guess. <laughs> oh, all right, good. Sounds good. Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. What's high school? no. What is high school? Oh, written, by Robert, written by Robert Kirkman. Robert of Kirkman course. went back in time. You son of a bitch. And of course he did. The, that train upgrade. The yeah. emotional flashback. These are things that, like, I, I, I'm, like, floored. I'm floored by them. Wow. Man. Man. Oh, this is... I mean, I know we talked about it at the very beginning. It was, like... This TV series was the perfect opportunity for Robert Kirkman to go back yep. and take the material and just stretch it in the best way possible. I don't think it's even stretching, Adam. I think it's like, I think we've been saying it this whole time, just refinement, dude. Yeah. yeah like taking yep. the moments that we, that hooked us so good in the comic book and like nailing them down so good because yeah. he gave us the emotional, like, we saw in the comic book, we saw Omni-Man do this, but we didn't have the flashbacks of him connecting with his son as a child. Mm. The things that really made him human and the things that eventually lead to the, you know, the future of this comic book, which is key. And also he made Debbie the linchpin to all of this because yes, Debbie yes, yes. taught Omni-Man how to be a human. Key. And if she hadn't taught him that, he would have not had that emotion that he did at the end. He would have not had that fly off the planet, tears in his eyes, moment oh, oh man oh Ooh, boy sorry adam i just totally took <sighs> over your point um this no just i mean you're times. you're totally right though i mean like yeah. they were able to find a way to squeeze every ounce of emotion and every <sighs> ounce of story like it's like when you it's like when you paint a wall and the paint just beautifully covers every mm -hmm. single mm -hmm. crease and indentation mm -hmm. and it's just, just like right. the smoothest layer of paint you're just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you if that's you've been painting, show is. you've been painting walls lately, bro. Shut that's a weird there. metaphor. That's a... <laughs> He's drawing from experience. What oh, are you talking man. about, Adam? Adam oh, moonlights yeah. as a painter. Did you not know this? <laughs> Poor guy. Um, I think Adam's dreaming about walls and paint at night. Guys, Poor guy. I I just I cannot get over how fantastic <laughs> this whole run has been. Man. It's it's been far more than I expected. But the thing that also is amazing is that it takes zero away from the comic book. Yep. Like I yeah. still need to go back and read every single thing that we've already read and then continue reading because it's so good. Yeah. It's there so, was so good. There was somebody in the comments who actually asked about that and they said the way you the, they were mentioning on our videos saying that the way you guys talk about the show now I'm questioning whether or not I want to go read the comic book because it makes it seem like it's far less uh, an inferior product and I said no absolutely the not the TV no. show mm -hmm expands on what's already great in the mm -hmm. comic book and the mm -hmm. experiences and some of the storytelling it's different enough that you have an overall amazing experience 
with both things. They're just slightly right. different because some things yeah. have been changed, mm -hmm. but you will not be disappointed at yeah. all it's, when you read the comic book. It's like uh, it's like if you like g cool Batman movies, uh, but then people tell you, oh, well, the movie's different or kind of remixed from like a Batman comic book. That does not right. mean you should never read a Batman comic. Like those are still high quality mm -hmm. pieces of art. They're just, they're, they're, they're designed to make the best of the format of the medium, which is comic book storytelling. And that's what right. Invincible is. We've talked about this before. We've talked about how that comic was so smart to do what it did in its first 13 issues. Mm -hmm. And then we've read past that and it's so smart to do what it does in each of its story arcs. And it's still different and still feels it still holds up. I would say yeah. that it holds up and we've been rereading yeah. even the early stuff. This is from 2003 and mm -hmm. we're discussing in our reviews about what maybe might not hold up so so well, but we can still talk about the sort of DNA of the story itself. And because it's and still there, it's still there and it's still so smart and so funny. And so like it knows exactly what it's doing with the superhero tropes mm -hmm. and the whole comic book, the in, in, entire run, plus all the tie-in stuff and all that extra stuff, like that's just all enhances. Here's the thing, too. I know that I've I've been seeing that in the comments as well, Adam. People saying, "Well, now I don't want to read the comic book because I also want to be surprised for the show." And at this point, I'm like, I get it. If you're in the middle, if you're in the middle of season one, I get it. Yeah. And guess yeah, what, y'all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Season one's over. And I'm mm -hmm. honestly, I, this is this is my stance. I truly believe that the best way to experience this show, including the future seasons two and three, is to go and read the entire fucking comic book. Yep, a and to have percent. that to have that with you. Because look, let's be real, let's be real. A big, huge twist of this story we've gotten past now. Mm -hmm. A big, huge twist of the Invincible storyline, and I, I feel like I'm talking about this secret that I've been holding for 20 years. <laughs> Augustine yes. knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, that's exactly. what it's like. Is you hold on to the secret until the person that you care about, in this case, our friend Adam, is able to be convinced to actually give it a shot. Then once they get past the Omni-Man reveal, then you can go, oh, finally, I've been holding this in for 20 years. Let's talk about the rest of this book and these characters yeah. and everything. But yeah. it's a tough sell for people because you want to say, oh, it's like it's like a great superhero book, but it's a little bit more adult. And that's all I want to say, because there's mm -hmm. this huge reveal. Mm -hmm. But now the first season did it. Now the comic book, we've read past it in the comic, but like now I think go through and there's other big moments and big reveals. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. There is a lot. And we've already experienced some just in volumes four, five, six, seven, like just in a couple of volumes afterwards. There are yeah. some big moments that deal with the core of what this story is ultimately about. And yet I think that having the entire comic book in my brain, except for the last issue, we'll get to it. Has, en <laughs> has enhanced me looking at the show because Absolutely. there are moments of the show where it's like it it's just this am amazing little bit of foreshadowing mm -hmm. but i'm also watching the show knowing things might not turn out this is luke skywalker telling me this is not going to go the way you think it's mark right. hamill and i'm right. like i hear you the show is going to go I'm, differently. I'm on the train yeah. i'm on the train baby you know yep. i was pretty mm -hmm. sure alan the alien was going to show up at the end but honestly dude i would not put it past the show to just have omni man show up again you know what i mean just, just yeah. to be like right. what to the change hell? It, like, to flip it up yeah mm -hmm. so i'm saying this right now this is the stance if you've watched the season and haven't read the comic book for the love of god <laughs> for the Find last go. every no. issue you can yes and, I'm, and i was about to say it. for the last time i'm going to tell you but no i'm going to keep telling you over and over and over again every read the entire <laughs> read every issue of the comic book and all the times read it with us read yep. it with us experience it that way with us mm -hmm. and then we'll be ready for season two and whatever oh, yeah. curveballs season two is going to throw our way 1000 <laughs> percent. we'll be putting out videos we're going to jump right back into the comic book at this point we only really took a break reading that comic book so we could film this to yeah. figure out where this was going to end like what was going to happen now we have a little bit of a break we just need to power through this bad boy and i and i would imagine and i have no clue but i imagine that the show will either come back in the holiday of this year mm -hmm. or they'll 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 hold it off and it'll come out like a year from when it first came out so mm -hmm. uh well uh, we beginning of may too. or beginning of april is that when it started or end of march mm -hmm. is when it started end of mm -hmm. march mm -hmm. we forgot to ask robert when he was on the show yeah. like hey how far along are you guys in <laughs> season two and three uh, <laughs> we gotta send an email quick yeah, <laughs> yeah for real i'm gonna for i'm real. gonna tweet at him and figure it out what's going on man either way i kind of I, I, honestly there's a part of me that wants to 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 be a year-long wait between this yeah, season and of. 
we get through the whole comic book yeah uh, brother and then some you know yeah. and i i kind of want that time to be able to now that season two is coming i want to take 365 days to tell every yeah. soul on earth mm-hmm, watch, mm-hmm. Season one, watch season yeah. one watch season one i agree just keep getting people hyped up for it so that season mm-hmm. two comes out and it's a smash hit and then season three will come out a month after that. Like I'm Absolutely. ready. I'm Absolutely. ready. We need to read every <laughs> every every issue, but also all the tie-ins. Yeah. We need to jump in. I yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of Capes, but I will read every <laughs> issue of Capes at this point. Like every issue of Super Patriot, yeah. every yeah. issue of Tech Jacket. Like, Look, I we mean, even we we even read that uh, that like one tie-in issue of the series, The Pact. Where it was yeah. like invincible, teaming with some other superheroes that we don't really ever see again. But like even in that, Doc Seismic with the lava monsters. Shows I'm watching up. this episode and I'm like, that's from the Pact issue yeah. number four, baby. That we is, read it. That is from the Pact. <laughs> <laughs> I think the other thing, you know, we when we originally talked about doing this show, we talked about doing the comic book, and we were like, well, we'll have plenty of runway because we've heard nothing about this show, mm-hmm. so we'll probably have plenty of time to get through. And literally, we started doing it, and within weeks, they were like first trailer mm-hmm. it's yep. coming on march and march. we're like shit yeah. we gotta Uh-oh. go <laughs> <laughs> yep. we gotta move <laughs> yeah <laughs> well luckily adam we got to a point where you're deep into it um we definitely got past issue 12 i like that i have a show that i can point people to now whenever i talk about invincible i could say look mm-hmm. if you're not not a lot of people are i'm not i don't want to say not a lot of people are comic book readers but it's more difficult for people to jump into the comic right yeah so now yeah. i'm like hey you have amazon prime Go watch season one. If that's yeah. good, if you love that, go and read the rest of this comic book. Yeah. Go buy every, and I will tell them, invest your money, buy every issue, and I'll pay you back if you don't like it. I'll <laughs> pay right. you back for every cent you spent on this book if you don't like it. That's yeah. my guarantee. Yep. I mean, yeah. like, it's made me so excited when we've been hit up again by so many people who've said, like, where do I find the comic book? How do I get it? You know, should, what should I get the compendiums or, mm-hmm. you know, like the, the volume, the trades or whatever. And I'm like, man, this is so fun and so cool that we've had the chance to like experience this and to yeah. be able to read this and now watch it. And I don't know, it just, it feels very fulfilling to yeah. go on this journey. And yeah. I'm only eight vo- or seven volumes in with all mm-hmm. the tie-ins that we've read so far. And I'm like, man, this is going to be, crazy when we get to the end and then we're going to jump into season two and i'm like what what are you going to change up what how's it going to be different now because i feel like everything that they did change yeah like you guys were saying you know some of it is a little bit outdated in the comic book yeah it still works in the context of the story but it's a little outdated Mm -hmm. but man they like did an amazing job updating so many of the things yeah and the revelations and the characters who do know the secret identities and just everything feels so earned and well, I yes. love that. Yes. Also, yes. think about this, Adam. As Robert wrote the comic, his writing got better and better. Exactly, because he got older, more experienced. Yeah, exactly. And... So imagine what he's going to do by the time he's already at a place later on in the comic book where the writing is already like, <laughs> and he gets to revisit this again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I, uh, uh, when did oh, the last oh. issue of Invincible come out? Uh, what year? Uh, I think it was 2018. 17? 17 or 18. 2017. So it's still gonna, pretty yeah. fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to look it so up right now. Time, so by the time they eventually get to the story, you know, when they get to those final, mm-hmm. I don't know, 40 some odd, 20 some odd issues, and we're at hopefully like a season seven, I think is what Robert said would be his like ideal amount of mm-hmm. time to do it all. That's going to be a few years. So then right. his like writing will have elevated even more so. Exactly. So exactly. It's, it's, but also we might even have a movie at this point, like a live mm-hmm. action true. movie. So true. what is that going to look like? Because yeah, there's how much still... of the comic book is that going to encompass? I So guys, we're in a really special spot right now where like the Marvel and DC stuff is cool. But that stuff is huge and expansive. Yes. Yes. And now we have, we're living through one of those golden ages of like image comics where they have, they're putting out their best stuff right now and they're getting back up, backed up by major companies. And yes. so we can enjoy the story as it goes. That's not a huge, giant, convoluted story and jump in and experience the comics, the animated shows, and possibly a live action movie. 
this is a very unique place where Amazon yeah. has put Robert Kirkman in his whole universe. This is yeah. crazy, and I'm so happy, and I'm here for everything that they put out at this point. Also, it's, it's ground floor. It's ground floor. Yeah. The, other, the other cool thing is, uh, to answer your question, Adam, issue number 144 came out in 2018. Mm, so the go. series ran from 2003 to 2018. That's a 15-year 15 15 run. Years. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, like Augustine said, when you compare this to the sprawling Marvel and DC universes, which we love, mm -hmm. it is impossible to read every comic book of those universes of those ongoing stories i wouldn't even try mm -hmm. it is actually possible to read every issue of invincible and in fact it's really fulfilling and cool to do so it's i think it's great that it does actually have like an end point that there's a yes. finality to it because we do feel right now like we're in on the ground floor because of this animated series and we're a few seven a handful of volumes into the to the whole run but like we got a lot ahead of us but we can get through it through a few months and then mm. we can get to the end point, and then mm. that has so much meaning, and it's it's awesome too. It's it's the, it's it feels the same as when people went to go see Avengers Endgame, mm -hmm. and you get that sense of finality. Or at the end of Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight Rises, and that character kind of semi retired, like retired. There's like a happy ending. It's like, mm -hmm. or or when you see something like Batman Beyond, or when you read a comic book like Kingdom Come, or whatever, whatever Old Man Logan, whatever the stories are, the movie Logan. To have these goodbyes to a character is also can be incredibly emotional and meaningful and <laughs> adam adam you know we're I'm not talking saying, about goodbyes and adam's barely on i'm not seven. saying there's a moment at the end of the invincible <laughs> comic that is comparable to the little girl turning the cross and making it into an x in logan i'm not saying that <laughs> what i'm saying is we're just getting started baby and we yeah. got a long road ahead of us well also and, yeah Keep in mind what Robert said, that he would like to see these series expand on the universe. So mm -hmm. we might not be the end uh, at this. We might see... Yeah. Issue 40, oh. 144 might yeah. be just like another season. It might be an issue 12. It might be an issue 12 of Invincible, like another giant twist that takes us down yeah. another rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I my, my mind is just buzzing. I can't praise the show enough. I... I, I want to sit down and watch every single episode back to back at this point. Me too, me too, me too, me yeah. too, me too, me too. Yeah, we got to do that. <laughs> we got to do that. And also, please, for the love of God, put the show on Blu-ray. If you don't, I will riot and oh, I will please. rip down I, I will rip down every store. There's a special spot for it right there, right there in my collection. <laughs> listen to me. Robert, I know you're watching right now. Listen Bobby, to me. Bob. Robert, Bobby Kirks, listen Whoever to me, Robert is running the Invincible account on Twitter, listen I up. I swear to God, Jeff Bezos, you better, you better put this on Blu-ray. I swear to God, Bezos. Get out of your robot suit. Get out of your robot suit for a second and put this show on a physical Blu-ray with some special feats. Yep. Please put out a soundtrack. A thousand percent. John Paisano, the composer, put that out so that I can buy it. Put out an official soundtrack if y'all get the rights to all those killer if songs. If y'all put it on a Mondo vinyl, I'll take mm, that too. Mm, 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 more mm. action figures. Uh, give me an Invincible video game while you're at it. And oh, yeah. uh, let's get moving on that live action movie, <laughs> Seth Rogen. Come on, guys! Let's I do just it. I just watched Pineapple Express the uh, the the other day. Classic. I love Seth Rogen so much. Yeah, My God, like I think a lot of people don't realize how much how involved Seth Rogen is in like pop culture. Preacher, mm -hmm. all the shows that he's worked on. Now he's doing yeah. Invincible, all the comedies, yeah. uh, his amazing Twitter account where he talks about his his cannabis company yeah. and all the videos they put together. I'm like, this man's great. I would love to go work for Seth Rogen. I would, it yeah. would be, I would, I would bring him coffee every day. Oh God, <laughs> amazing! It's so cool. But man, this yeah. show has just like, <sighs> it's broken me. It, it's broken everybody emotionally. And yeah. the first gonna, episode set us up so well for this finale, but damn, this finale we, just took it to a 27. Yeah. Boys, we haven't talked about this either. Now having experienced the show, it is going to affect the way we read the comic now. That's it what I was It will say. absolutely <laughs> affect yeah. how we mm -hmm. interpret these characters, mm -hmm. what they sound like, how, what they feel like. Mm -hmm. It's going to change it. Augustine and I, we're going to be rereading stuff we've read, and it's going to feel different. And Adam, yeah. you're going to be reading it for the first time, but you're going to revisit a world, and it's going to feel different different mm -hmm. and i yeah. am so excited to get back to the comic because i'm like i want to hear all of these actors voices mm -hmm. in my head but i want to see how that i mean i don't want to say too much just because the comic gets <laughs> it just keep, keeps getting crazy but i'm already thinking about even what happened in this episode i'm like oh i wonder if that's going to make me think differently about certain I, things i think it will i think it yeah. will but yeah. one thing that i'm hoping changed a lot of people's minds is that uh, I hope that issue of League of Losers comes out 
uh, I hope the <laughs> I hope the show was such a massive success that they're like, you know what, Robert, throw Spider Man in there. <laughs> give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you for uh, this. One. You know, it's fun. I was amazing. posting a bunch of comics today, and somebody was like, "There was an Invincible Spider Man crossover," and I'm like, "Y'all don't even. You don't even you know. Don't Where have you been? No, you don't Come even know. On, you uh, don't even. Mm-mm. No." <laughs> <laughs> No, don't even. <laughs> don't even know. <laughs> sort of oh, sort of sort of read that comic. Oh, the show is the, the show's like a gift that keeps on giving. And now, oh, however long it is, we have to wait. We'll wait. We'll read the comic book. Just give us the Blu-ray. Give us the, the soundtrack. Yeah. I can't wait to continue oh, yeah. this conversation with the book, you guys. I'm just I so... Am. So give us, excited. Give us a hardcover collection, The Art of Invincible, the animated series. Give us that book, mm-hmm. please. I'd like to see all of the character <laughs> designs, all of the background characters, all the yeah. backgrounds, all yeah. the all of the different uh, alterations for the costumes for each of the I want to see every I want to see every storyboard. Just like detail. in the comic book at the yeah. end of all the volumes, yes, yes. seeing the all design the stuff. Like that's mm-hmm. so cool, man. And I want to see that for the and I'm always interested because I think it's like what we got is such a one-to-one in yeah. terms of the design i'm very curious yeah. to find out like if they ever considered tweaking things or if they right. were just like right. let's try to make it as close as possible you know like all, all that stuff it's yeah it's, I, it's so good it's, it's so, so much good. to talk about you guys i feel I like let's just start reading the comic book now guys i'm just yeah. gonna go grab the comic uh i'll be right back this session this episode let's is just gonna roll be this three into hours the, long. yeah we're just gonna roll right into it right uh, now we're just gonna read it live shit let's do it live. whatever we're about to go live on youtube right now uh come check it out uh, uh it's gonna no, be, let's go to bed let's go sleep let's it's, go it's gonna be a good run and i can't wait to get back into the comic book so make sure you guys check out those videos if you have not seen the previous videos that we've made we have a whole playlist the last video that's currently in there is the spider-man crossover so mm-hmm. watch all of them we do a really good primer episode that really tees up what invincible is what the comic book is and then we just get into it and we go through and we talk about every single issue and the events that happen and it's a great conversation it's a nice way to get to know the the characters from a different medium mm-hmm. and and i'm i'm so excited to jump back into that so be on the lookout for those videos of course let us know in the comments what you thought about this finale and what you look forward to seeing in season two and if you haven't read the comic book i think that's the fun part we get to now hear what people's uh, potential like theories are about where the show can go i want to hear all that stuff because i think where we are in the book currently we know a few things for me it's going to be eat we're going i'm going to learn a lot more Mm-hmm. Volume you got a lot to beyond. go baby so it's gonna be a lot of fun let us know in the comments below if you haven't joined our discord yet join our discord our community is amazing we talk about the shows every single week and i can't wait to dive in and see what people are saying about this finale it's gonna be a whole lot of fun <laughs> check out all the other reactions check out the young cuts on patreon uh, subscribe if you haven't already my god come on at this point you should have twice <laughs> it's gonna be a good time 